Well, I think that certainly those barriers do need to be removed because, I mean, just in Carmarthenshire alone, we um, purchase over £100 million worth of services. That's not to say that um, all that money would, could be um, procured locally, but there are clearly huge opportunities for local businesses. So I think that certainly over the last two to three years, um, as an, um, uh, really as a result of some initiatives from um, an on all Wales basis that all local authorities now are, are really making sure that they go out and tell local businesses of the opportunities that are available and making it easier for them then to, uh, to, to try and uh, get some of that work that's out there. We have um, initiatives that are current at the moment where we're trying to explain to businesses um, that it's easy or easier than they think to get work from the local authority. And one of the most effective um, things that we've done recently is to hold procurement surgeries for businesses in various sectors. So businesses can come along, they can listen to what the council um, services that we have um, that we're looking to purchase locally and we can explain very clearly to businesses how they can then um, try and work with us to, to, to get some of that work that's available. Well, there are three things the SMEs can do to help themselves. The first is to be aware and make themselves aware of the opportunities that exist. The second thing is to build expertise and capabilities within the business to allow them to compete for those contracts. And then the third thing is to look at working together with other SMEs if the contracts are large to enable them to win contracts together. In my experience, uh, I found that SMEs don't uh, compete for contracts because they are not aware of the opportunities that exist and that because most of the SMEs that, that I know are very small uh, are not prepared to commit the time that uh, they would need um, to gain these contracts on because they think that they're not likely to win them in the first place. Well, I think um, that e-procurement present um, is certainly an opportunity for businesses because I think it levels the playing field. It gives every business the opportunity to see what contracts are available, whereas uh, I think there's a perception that only certain businesses uh, are able to procure and have the opportunity. So I think by opening up um, procurement to a much wider range of businesses and making it very clear what's available, that's certainly an opportunity to a lot of businesses. I think that procurement rules uh, in the past have certainly been a barrier and an obstacle to, for businesses to, uh, to gain work from local authorities, and I, but I think that's something that has improved dramatically over the last two or three years. And really what we now need to do is get the message out to businesses that those opportunities exist and that they really need to be looking at the public sector as a great opportunity for the future.